combination NCR is the number of ways to select R, out of N, different items. These N items need to be different. And order doesn't matter. When you see the word select, it usually means we need to use combination. It is also written as brackets, N on the top, and R on the bottom. The difference between permutation and combination is the order. In combination, the order of the selected R items doesn't matter. Let's take a look at an example. Three students are selected out of 20 students to form a committee. How many possibilities are there? The answer is 20C3. You just need to form a committee. The order of these three students doesn't matter. However, if three students are selected out of 20 students to form a committee, and one is president, one is vice president, one is secretary, then the order matters, because it is a different possibility if a student holds a different title. So in this case, the answer is 20P3. We know both permutation and combination are to select R, out of N, different items. It's just that in permutation, order matters. And in combination, order doesn't matter. So there must be a relationship between these two. Now let's find out the relationship between 4C3 and 4P3. If we select 3 out of 4 items, there are 4 cases. They are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, and 2, 3, 4. That's the result of combination. However, for permutation, because order matters, 1, 2, 3 will become 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. 2 1 3, 2 3 1, 3 1 2, and 3 2 1. That's three factorial different arrangements. For each of the other three combinations, there are three factorial different arrangements also. So for each case of 4 C3, there are three factorial corresponding cases in 4 P3. Therefore, 4 P3 is 4 C3, times 3 factorial and 4C3 is 4P3, divided by 3 factorial. In general, NCR is NPR divided by R factorial. We know NPR is multiply R numbers down from N. So NCR is a fraction, the numerator is multiply R numbers down from N, and the denominator is multiply R numbers up from 1. NCR is a fraction. The numerator is multiply our numbers down from n. The denominator is multiply our numbers up from 1. They both have our numbers. 4c3 is 4 times 3 times 2, divided by 1 times 2 times 3. It is 4. 8c4 is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. It is 70. 10c5 is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. It is 252. On the calculator, we see the NCR sign above the division button. Let's calculate 6c3. You hit 6. Then shift, division, and 3, equal. The result is 20. We know 6C3 is 6 times 5 times 4, divided by 1 times 2 times 3. It is also 20. So the result is good. We know NCR is NPR over R factorial, and NPR is N factorial over N minus R factorial. So NCR is N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial. 20c3 is 20 factorial over 17 factorial times 3 factorial. 32c4 is 32 factorial over 28 factorial times 4 factorial. ncn is 1. 6c2 is 6 times 5 over 1 times 2, which is 15. 6c4 is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. This is also 15. It is equal to 6c2. Therefore, we are guessing, ncr is nc, 
n minus r. Now let's prove it. We know ncr is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. nc n minus r is n factorial over n minus n minus r factorial times n minus r factorial. This is n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. It is equal to ncr. So we proved it. So we have 20c13 is equal to 20c7. 32c20 is equal to 32c12. It means, selecting our items is equivalent to selecting, n minus our items. In this class, we learned. Combination ncr is the number of ways to select r out of n different items. Order doesn't matter. ncr is npr over r factorial. It is a fraction. Both the numerator and denominator have our numbers. The numerator is multiply our numbers down from n. The denominator is multiply our numbers up from 1. ncr is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. ncr is equal to nc n minus r. ncn is 1.